This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump beats Obama engagement with Congress, say friend and foe. By Susan Crabtree. President-elect Trump is taking a far more hands-on approach to working with Congress than his senator-turned-president predecessor. President Obama spent four years in the upper chamber, working closely with many colleagues on both sides of the aisle, but when voters sent him to the White House, he notoriously gave Capitol Hill the cold shoulder. Former congressional colleagues, even some of his biggest supporters, often described him as distant and aloof a no-drama leadership style that eschewed President George W. Bush's chummy nicknaming of lawmakers who he cultivated with regular White House lunch and dinner invitations. Trump's direct, in-your-face engagement with likely allies as well as foes is already starting to break down some initial barriers on Capitol Hill and earning him high praise from early converts. There's no secret, I never had much interaction with President Obama or his administration, Senator Joe Manchin. Democrat West Virginia, told the Washington Examiner. It looks like President-elect Donald Trump is much more engaged, and he has no problem at all jumping on the phone with you. Manchin, a conservative Democrat and top contender to become Trump's energy secretary before former Texas Governor Rick Perry was chosen, has met with Trump once in New York when under consideration for the cabinet post. The incoming president also has phoned him two other times. You get a phone call and he says, Hey Joe, this is Donald, and that's how it goes. It's a pretty big change. I think it's a welcome change, I have almost spoken as much to him so far as I did in eight years with Obama. That tells you a lot right there. Trump and House Speaker Paul Ryan, Republican Wisconsin, have overcome their rocky campaign relationship to exchange daily phone calls with Trump famously describing the top House GOP leader as a fine wine that he has come to appreciate over time, as long as Ryan doesn't cross him in the future. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Arkey, and Trump aren't exchanging colorful metaphors about their relationship just yet, although McConnell was clearly elated about the Trump coattails that helped Republicans maintain the Senate majority and the incoming GOP president's selection of his wife, Elaine Jell as transportation secretary. Trump and McConnell met in the Senate shortly after the election, and days later McConnell and his wife dined privately with Ivanka Trump and husband Jared Kushner, both of whom are expected to have prominent White House roles. Obamacare lawsuits put Trump in awkward place. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.